Terrence back again here with another tech tip. In this video, I'll show you a couple of really cool new features you might not even know exist in your Apex Fusion cloud interface. I think we all know how overwhelming it can be to get a brand new piece of aquarium gear, something like a light or a pump or maybe a power head, and not know how to begin to set it up. Sure, we could venture out on our own, try some things out, and see what happens. But why? There are surely thousands of customers out there who have already cracked the code and are willing to share their secrets. This is why we created something we call Schemes. To best explain how Schemes work, let me take you through a few examples. Let's configure a Radeon light like this one here, a couple of our wave pumps, and then finally set up our dose, all using Schemes. So everything we're about to do with the Schemes happens inside the Apex Fusion interface. Our first example will be with the Radeon G4 Pro connected to the Apex with the WXM module. To configure this Radeon G4, you click the gear and you'll see the usual graph for adjusting the levels, the time of day, the individual color levels. You can even change the Kelvin rating for each time of day with a drop down list. But all of this requires you to know what you need to do and somebody else I'm sure has solved this. And that's what schemes are for. So you simply go up here to this menu item and select it and the schemes window will appear. From this window you can see all of the schemes that you've saved of your own as well as you can go out and discover those saved by other people that they've shared with the community. Now from the selection you see here you can see somebody's already saved the Coral Lab AB Plus setting. Select it and that particular configuration is dropped right into your screen for you to use on your light. I don't know about you but I think that's pretty cool. And changing to another configuration is as simple as clicking on the drop down, going to discover, and finding somebody else's settings to use. Of course, as always, after you make some configuration changes, you have to send them to your Apex by clicking the orange button. And schemes just don't work on the latest Radeon G4. You can also use it for the XR15 or previous Gen 3, etc. lights. You can see here this XR15 has just six sliders, as you'd expect. We can go to schemes. We can go out and see that I've already saved my own scheme here for this light. I can go out and discover that you can see there are many, many uh, customers out there, some of them you might even recognize, who have saved off their schemes to share with you. Because there are often so many schemes out there, we've given you a way to narrow it down to the things that are similar to your aquarium. In this case, we've selected SPS, and you can see all the schemes out there for this light that are SPS tank related. So now that we've done the Radeon, why don't we move on to another popular light, the Kessel. Kessel A360, A160, and now the A80 are all Apex ready, so you can configure them right in the Apex Fusion dashboard. Now Kessel configuration is unique because it only has two settings, one for intensity and one for color. So we're going to go in here and show you how to configure it using schemes. First on the intensity, and we can go out and discover that some people have created some intensity schemes. In this case, John Moss. So we're going to go out and select the Kessel 360 intensity, and we're going to send that to the Apex. Now we have to configure the color for this Kessel light. So we go back to our dashboard. We select the channel for the Kessel color. Go back to the schemes. Go to Discover, look, and we can see the Kessel Spectrum. Now if we want, in the Apex Fusion dashboard, you can actually compare the, the spectrum or the color to the intensity right on the same graph by selecting it in the dropdown. This makes configuring Kessel lights super easy. Now schemes aren't just for lighting. Schemes also can be used for sharing and saving your own profiles for the Neptune System's dose system. It's really simple to do. If you want to see how someone else did dosing, click the gear, in this case for my alkalinity side of the dose, click the drop down for the schemes, go over to discover, you can actually look and filter the schemes by name, say alk, find somebody who has an alkalinity scheme, in this case with a 150 gallon aquarium, and there you go, there's his settings for alkalinity and dosing 70 milliliters of alk every day. There's so many things you can do with these schemes. Yet another thing that you can save for yourself and share with others are the settings that you do for your wave power heads or other water moving devices like the Vortex if you happen to have those in the WXM module. In this aquarium, say I want to configure the left wave pump. I click on the gear, 
you'll see the current graph settings for that wave pump. I click on the schemes. I click over onto Discover, but you can see I already have one scheme saved for myself. But I click on Discover, and you'll see all sorts of different schemes that have been saved. But I want the ones that are specifically for SPS corals, so I selected that box. Now only those wave configurations will show where the user has selected that they have an SPS tank, including an interesting one here which says it's a clone of the Worldwide Corals' Vortex scheme, so that might be a fun one to try. And there it is. And all I would have to do now is hit the orange button and that would go up and program my Apex. But let's say I want to go select another one. It's pretty simple. I select now Mixed Corals and SPS Corals, and I get a lot more options. I can go up and down the options, find one that I like, and this happens to be a 900-gallon tank that is using two waves. So I think I'll select that one, and you can see they have an even different setting there that you can use. So a lot of possibilities here. Well, up until now, we've been utilizing other people's save schemes, but what if you want to save one for yourself? It's really easy, and you'd want to do that maybe if you want to try out different things on your aquarium and come back to previous settings, or if you want to share with the community. So let's say I want to save my current Radeon settings into a scheme for use later on and also to share with the community. So here I am at the configuration for my Radeon. You can see it's a Radeon G4 Pro. I can select this icon. Now I can put in a very descriptive name so if people do text searches they could find it. My tank volume, in this case 40 gallons. Then I select the tank type. So if you happen to have a mixed tank or you have an SPS tank, this is yet another way that people can find your aquarium in the list. Then we can save it for private if this is something you just want to keep to yourself, or in this case I want to be able to share it with others. Last, you can put a descriptive note about this particular scheme so that others might have more information. I can type very fast. <laughs> Select OK, and there you have it. Now we can go over to our save schemes and you'll see here it is saved and the name of it, the notes I wrote, I wrote, the volume of the aquarium, my rating, and no you can't go out and rate your own aquariums or your own schemes, um, and then whether it's public or private. And that's it. That's how simple it is. So after seeing that, imagine the things you can do with schemes. And they work with so many types of devices. In addition to sharing schemes for our products, you can also share configuration info for all Apex Ready devices, like the gyre pump, lights from Kessel, and also Ecotech products controlled with the WXM module. Get this, with schemes, you can easily find successful lighting profiles for your Radeon lights and flow patterns for your Vortec pumps from other users without leaving the Apex Fusion interface. No reef link necessary. Already people are sharing many of these and many other device configurations, so go give it a try. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll get all the notifications when the next Tech Tips release. And until then, take care and happy reef keeping.